By the end of 10 days, we had been engaged on so many levels. It was going to take months, maybe years, to process all that was encountered in such a short time. An experience like this is just as much about who you get to do it with as what you're doing. We were also connected to each other, our beloved guide, our passages fellow, and the people we traveled with. does an excellent job of connecting you to your faith. They allow you to take what you've learned and to put it into action, whether that is through blog posts, through media, through photography, anything, they give you an outlet. You don't get a program like this uh, anywhere else. Like You get to hear from Jewish Israelis, Arab Israelis, and Arab Palestinians. You get viewpoints from just all over the spectrum, and that is invaluable. Connecting with the participants on the bus is one of the coolest things about the Passages program. Not only are you getting to see uh, the places that Jesus walked with these other people, but you really grow as a community. And it's really fun to have that kind of relationship. to get to know not only the politics and the, the serious stuff, but getting to see the fun side of Israel and its people. People were just really responding, like crying, you know, they're like, you know, like, like laying hands on each other. And people who had literally 40 hours had no idea who the other person was. But there was that like, like real deep connection. And after that, every single day, it was just people getting to know each other. Passages builds friendships. It builds connections. It, it builds a home, a second home for you through relationships. There's this family bond that happens just on your, your in your group on your bus like with your guide with your security guard with your bus driver even like you know their names you learn their stories you you hear little bits and pieces of like of just their lives one of the coolest things was getting to know Roz our guide he's a really incredible guy and during the trip we connected with him really well and, and he actually took us to his mashav which is a village and it bordered the Gaza wall and he was able to, to show us his home and his family and the struggles that he faces every day. I think that all of the speakers have been very thought provoking. They come in with just different perspectives and you get this wealth of, uh, of viewpoints. Experiencing Shabbat here is actually really unique and different because we get to go into the home of a Jewish family and experience something that's so significant to them. And it was really fun to see families like pass on that ritual and take a part in that. So Leal Heyoun, which is an IDF uh, soldier that we met in Jerusalem, I, I saw her come to Harvard and I go to Harvard uh, Medical School for my doctoral degree and I saw her take a picture on Facebook and I was like, Leal, you're here in the States? And, and she was like, yeah, like, where are you? How cool it is that I met her in her country and now she's meeting me and mine. I met a man and I helped him find someone that he was looking for and at the end of our conversation, he invited me to go have dinner with his family at his house and it just shows that people in this country are very welcoming and they're so excited to have people like us here. The relationships I've developed on the trip are ones that I'll never forget and I, I believe well, I'll carry for the rest of my life. Now I can say like, okay, I have friends in Israel. When I look back years from now, I may not remember every detail, but I'll remember when I was gripped by emotion and my heart grew for humanity. And I'll remember the first time my eyes fell upon the old city, the desert hills, the Sea of Galilee, and how the Bible came to life right in front of me.